Welcome back. We're going to take a uh, deeper look into the uh, Heathkit HO-10 monitor scope. I uh, decided that uh, I want to get a little more involved with this unit and uh, information seems to be uh, lacking. This uh, was built in 1962 so that's many years ago. So I'd figure I'd uh, just add to the community of information out there and uh, add a little bit better uh, video. So what I'd like to do is uh, I want to have this thing operational. Okay, let's take a closer look. Top end view. You can see our uh, tubes. One two, three, four, five, transformer, we also have uh, electrolytic up here, Have an electrolytic there. Also, this is an electrolytic can which uh, houses four different values. So one can individually have four separate and uh, fab that in there, or these cans are still purchasable new. Uh, they are expensive. I've seen uh, prices from $16 up to $30, $40. So uh, there is a guy in the southern states who does have a kit. Uh, hayseed ham or something to that effect. Uh, I do appreciate the value of kits, saving time and money, sourcing. So uh, I'm probably going to uh, order one from him. You can get uh, capacitors and uh, resistors. These carbon composition resistors. Uh, apparently the uh, high mega ohm values they seem to uh, cause grief. So he does have his kit there that does supply some and uh, I guess those are probably the uh, ones that cause the most grief. Okay so this is the bottom view. Just stop here and take a uh, gander at that. Very nice and compact unit. Definitely fits nicely on uh, on your shelf next to your uh, next to your gear. So uh, I'm uh, I'm impressed with that and something that's uh, built in '62 is still you know has a use today in electronics. That's a rarity. Okay, more electrolytics. Carbon comp resistors. There are a few here. I'll be checking all of those as well too. So looking closely in here, this is, uh, which is the one there? Oh sorry, that one up there. That one's frozen up on me, I just couldn't uh, release it so I'll have to replace that. The base diameter is uh, cannot exceed 30. You know, here's the top of the case, and then there's the tube there, so you can't exceed 30. So I had to definitely um, look long and hard. And of course, we're dealing with high voltages here, so your everyday run-of-the-mill potentiometers are not built to handle a thousand volts. So uh, you had to be uh, wary of that. And I do do believe if I uh, put a two watt in there, I should be fine. If anybody needs that information on where I sourced it out. It was uh, time-consuming to find that on eBay. It wasn't the easiest to find. Ok, 
can go to the uh, local distributors, Mauser, Newark, but uh, they're not cheap. $25, you're looking at that price range. So. so there is our monitor scope. Let's wait for some uh, components to roll in here so I can do some uh, replacing and uh, continue the project.